I'm assuming so. I, I'm not going to stream over it. But... Hello, this is Phil, the driver of the number four car. I'm just going to hop in, commentate for this last stage. Quite unusual, because usually I'll be on the track, but sadly I have latency issues and terrible ping spikes, and it would make racing atrocious for the other drivers, and I don't want to ruin their day, especially at a Robux. Oh, or any other race for that matter, but um, this has been quite an interesting race so far. Stage two was this has been quite a, <laughs> a lot of aggressive moves and questionable decisions, I would say, by the officials not calling cautions, but I understand there's a lot of them and they're probably just trying to finish the stage. And then we just came back after a quick server reset because of some lag complaints from the driver and hopefully I'll flush up the leaderboard and the times and make the racing better. But here we are. All right, good, good start from the front pack here. We got Sharky and the rest of them trailing off. Well, Chris just went down into the apron and came up into the pack. He might get a warning for the ball seat. Kata and Xander are both crawling back to the finish line. unfortunate rough start already uh, we got sky in the lead it looks like leader of our last stage we want to barely come into a race back against halo his teammate um who won stage one i i was in the driver comms when that was occurring and halo didn't want to give it up so they actually he didn't let sky win it was actually a legit win um from sky so congrats to him Yeah, we're sorting it out. Come back to the pace car. The pits are going to be open, or they're just going to go back to green. We'll see here. The officials call. Oh, we're doing shoes this time. See what the leader picks. Looks like he's going to go for the inside. He does. See if everyone has a clean decision. That one goes through the middle here. And everyone was good. So if you go on green here, we got 30, going to be 30 to go. So we get the 800 Robux prize for the stage three winner. Uh oh, it looks like Halo came up into Josh and got hooked there. But they sorted it back out and sadly they fall back. Terry's going to get a push to Sky, give him the lead still. Zaking. Guy battling it out, been battling it for most of the race. Believe it or not, we got RCR pretty strong. Uh, TRD and uh oh, looks like Josh got loose in the back there. He's gonna try to merge up safely. No caution still. Oh, we got a, Chris got to run on the inside on Sky. He's making a move. Looks like he's gonna get the win here off the back stretch. Zach, he's trying to figure out what lane to pick. Oh, Zach is going to stay on the inside while well, Terry and Xander both go a little bit high and wide. And here comes Sharky, <laughs> giving a push, breaking, moving on way his way through. Oh, it looks like Chris got uh, into the wall there. It's going to cause momentum loss for Sky, who got in his rear. And Zach is going to prevail on that mistake. Xander is trying to move his way back up. He's going to push Sky. Looks like the inside has been the move or the lane to take here on the turns to try to make moves. But you get that run on the exits there on the high side. So it's it's interesting track. Oh, Sky got into Xander a little bit there. He's going to let him by. Oh, Xander is going to send into the turn, pushing Zaki high. And here comes Terry also. Oh, Sky just comes into. I don't know what happened there. It looks like Sky and KM bug. Up. I get them mixed up. One of the brothers got that wreck. Looks like Chris is going to win the race back there. Halo gets dumped. 
Had a good run there for a little bit. I don't know what happened to Sky there. Almost looked like it could have been more lag or the skill issue. But no official warnings called out. Pits are open. Watch. Watch Chris. Yeah, I get some uh, latency issues trying to watch the race even. Hey, it looks like we got Cam Bugs going to stay out. Try to take the lead here. I think he might be doing more of a cons uh, conserve strategy and try to stay in front. Looks like everyone's got a clean pit stop. And Chris, oh, Xander's going to. Yep, Xander's going to gain a few spots, and Chris is going to fall back a few. Ado is now our leader with Xander and Zaki, who subbed for Alex this time. Yeah. About 25 more laps to go. Drivers are going to get more aggressive, probably. We might, probably going to see a few more cautions because they're really trying to get that Roblox prize. No, no points are on the line, but they really want that win. And Chris came in there like a wrecking ball and uh, gave it a nice push to K Dub. Had a good start, but it still looks like the inside line is going to prevail here. And Sky and uh, K Dub's brother is trailing off in the back there. Hopefully, they can catch up. Oh. Zach is making nice moves on the bottom. Uh, looks like the inside doing pretty well on those turns, but the outside has a run still. And we got drivers complaining about KM saying he needs to get a warning. So it must have been from the restart. Something happened there. Xander and Zaki both battling it out side by side. Xander's going to have to run here on the outside, but it's going to trail off. And we may see the eight car into victory lane the way things are going. He's been pretty dominant in front of this race. Uh, haven't he didn't have a lot of incidents, at least this stage. Stage two had a few, but it seems like when he's in the front, he does pretty well. Looks like we still got some drivers, Sky in particular, not happy with the officiating. And he's way back there with K and Bug. And they're three wide crossing the start finish line for the lead right now. Oh, Chris came up into Zaki, his teammate, and he comes and merges up into Rex. Oh, that's a questionable move there. Something I would argue should be called for that. But, um, it's all right. It looks like uh, Zaki's going to still be able to hold in the front pack. I'm starting to fall off a bit. And we got now Xander, your leader getting loose and this track has quite a few bumps on the front stretch and it's very tricky to handle your car after you hit one of those bumps and Xander's going to lose momentum from that and now we have a new leader again looks like Rex is going to be leading my substitute driver and Josh is around he looks like he hit the wall or got loose and he's going to oh Almost got the backpack, but they're not going to call a caution for that one car spin. And then now we have Halo spinning around with Zaki. Some RCR and JGR competition going on. The rivalries are still there. Unfortunately, even in the all-star race, when it's supposed to be more laid back, these drivers are not. <laughs> they are very competitive. And now we got another leader switch. Terry back to the front. There's a lot of lead, lead changes this uh, this track. It's very... Uh, the draft is strong here. And it's quite easy to make moves on the inside, on the turns, 
or if you have a pelt on the outside, you can make a nice run on the exits. And as I literally just mentioned, there's Chris making a move on the inside, side by side with Rex in his quarter panel. And Rex is going to block him. Or try to. And Chris is still there. He's still wanting that inside. And looks like Chris is going to not make it. It was very close there. Uh, I won't be shocked that Chris is going to try to make a move again here. Maybe and push Rex to get by Terry. And the 56 is given a verbal. And uh, wow, right when I look away, it looks like Chris and Sky, or correction, Rex get loose. Again, the front stretch has those bumps kind of random when they occur. Uh, they both save it, Lose, losing some momentum there to Terry, though. And they're three wide in the mid pack there. Halo, Zaki, and I can't tell. I think that's Kato. And we're still seeing Sky and Cambug trying to catch the pack. They're actually losing time. I think part of it has to do with um, probably losing focus, and that's hard to gain. And then Josh somehow is all the way in the back. It's not his been day, his day at all. He's been having lag and get caught up. He's getting excuse me, getting caught up in a lot of wrecks today. Rex is still leading, but we got a nice run on the inside by Terry. They're side by side. While Xander and Chris are side by side. It's a nice little battle, two by two. And they're three wide. Well, they were for a brief moment. Oh, Chris came down on Xander. I'm sure Xander. Oh, and Xander came up and took out Chris. I mean, I don't blame him for that. He just came down on. <laughs> Hopefully, the official saw that. We'll see what gets done with that. Um, I don't know what if there's lag issues going off. Uh, and then Zachy's in the wall, and so is K Dub or, or correction, KM Bug. No, K Dub, I was correct the first time. Those, they're, uh, those brothers, their names are too similar, so it's easy to mix them up. But on the race back, we got Terry and Rex. Look at Terry prevailing. And third is Halo with Xander and Sharky back up to fifth. And Chris is mad at Xander when I saw Chris come down on Xander, so I don't know what, why he's yelling at him, but I'll let them figure that out. Pits are open. We're coming down to 10 to go. Probably going to be 9 nine or 10 to go on the restart here. Xander pushes Sharky into the pit wall. I don't know what's going on there with that. It's going to go to the back, it looks like. And he's going to have a drive through under green now. Which I agree. I don't know what he was doing to Sharky there. He's maybe... A more lag issues for him. Give him benefit of the doubt. Yeah, he, driver reports there's some server lag. Well, looks like Rex is going to still hold his lead. Um, Actually, no. It was supposed to be Terry lost a spot. Rex gained a spot. Halo holds his spot. And the Fifth place was, I believe, he, I don't remember who was fifth, but I know the mid-pack got jumbled up. And we see the number eight car getting his free pass. I believe. Oh, no, he's pitting. He must have had something happen in pits. He's going to pit again. We're still under yellow. I'll say I don't. I'm not sure exactly what happened to the eight car, but looks like he's saying good job, Sky Zaki is. So it must have been something that happened to in pit road, and Halo's gonna get hooked into the wall. And the driver's gonna have to 
re uh, situate themselves and they need to focus because it's coming down 10 laps right now. It's going to be nine at the restart. If Zachy catches up here. I don't know if he's going to be able to in time. Oh, they're choosing now again. Rex is going to go high. Halo and Sky are going to go high as well. So you got all teammates on the high side and all teammates. Of, so JGR is on the high side and TRD, the Toyotas, and the Chevys on the inside there, with the exception of Sharky. And we are going green. And it looks like I think Xander caught up just in time, but Zachy is sadly back and turns who it looks like they're going to allow him to merge probably behind hopefully behind the pack safely <laughs> and he does and wow there we go we're getting three four wide and Sharky's loose in the middle probably hit a bump or someone hooked him and we got Kate up in the wall and Xander is now in the infield wall looks like he might just pull it in and I think lag is really getting to him sadly he had a good race he was up in the front for a few few times and it seems like uh flag is just not cooperating with him oh we got josh and kate and bug both coming in the infield but they came back up in the pack holding their positions and they're four wide off exit and Kato is around and now sharky and Sky are into each other. If they're going to call C. No, we're going to keep going. So it looks like it's going to be Terry and Rex coming out to maybe six here, six to go soon. And but I wouldn't call quits yet for those mid pack cars. They can still catch up. They work together, but they probably will not. <laughs> they got different teammates in different spots. And they're getting loose into the front stretch and losing momentum. And Rex may even catch up to Zaki. It looks like he's up ahead. I think this is Zaki. Or no, that's Sander. Uh, looks like drivers are complaining about no caution being called. I mean, I don't. I understand their frustrations. I, it. It would seem like one, maybe two car incidences, but they would come back together and regain their composure. But back to the race, uh, Josh came up into KM bug there. It looks like exiting turn two and loses it, but he's going to remerge. No caution still as we see a run being made on the inside by Terry. Rex is in the wall, but gets a nice little run. And they're side by side and he's loose. We got some mid pack cars loose off the exit. They're still side by side. It's a good battle for the lead. And Terry's going to pull up in front. Rick's going to dive down. He's going to try to do a crossover here move. He's going to push Terry up the track a little bit. It's a little, a little bit of aggressive driving going on for that lead. Rex really wants to get that win, prove himself back to D1. If that's even an option at this point. And Terry is probably going to, if I was Terry, I'd probably wait towards the end. I'll just creep behind Rex and make a move around the white flag lap, push him out of the way. Just like how Rex kind of shoved him up. But looks like he's going to go for the lead now as they're coming up to, I think that's 20 gets a verbal. Oh, they're into each other. Oh, no, he's coming up the track. Lost some momentum there. Chris is going to have to come and push him back up to the lead here if he can catch up in time. Rex is blocking. And Terry is making a move on the inside. It's a good time to do it. You only got about a lap to go. We're coming to the white flag. No flag call called. For caution, so next flag ends the race here. And Terry is still strong on that inside. He makes a move. Rex is probably going to come on this back stretch and push him into turn three, I can imagine. And then someone gets a warning. 
And here he comes. Here comes Rex trying to make a move on Terry, but Terry's still holding strong. And Chris in third place, and looks like we're going to have Terry, Rex, and Chris top three, and I think Halo and Cambug were fourth and fifth. Good job for Terry. That was a good move by him. Made at the right time. Yeah, it's a good good finish for RCR. It looks like Zaki, I think, was sixth. So RCR did pretty well this race. Um, but it's gonna be nice some nice Robux for the top three there. I'm sure uh the drivers are pretty upset with the officiating this race. <laughs> but uh let's see if we can get some let's get some no oh, Rex is gonna pile drive into Harry there. I don't know what he's doing. I don't think I can move people. Let me see if I can. Yes, I can. I'm going to tear it. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Move the driver, not the channel. It's not letting me. So, blocks are, I don't know if you got arms. It keeps. I keep clicking on the channel to try to move Terry up here. I can't. If you could move him, I appreciate it. Hey, Austin. How's it going? Or I should say, Terry. Congratulations on your All Star win. How are you feeling? I'm pretty good. Yeah. So, uh, you came down. It was like what lap one one nine. So pretty much two to go, or about. One and a half to go, and you made a move on Rex, and right after he kind of pushed you up high and wide. What were you thinking when he, you were gonna, I, gonna win the race at that point? I was like, I was upset. I, I was, I mean, for that second, I was mad until I realized I wasn't. Um, uh, I don't really know what happened there. We were just got sideways and. Just yeah, I did. I, I did see you get loose there, um, but I you. Think, I think we both yeah. hit a bump. And it kind of just happened, but yeah, it, it worked out. So, well, I mean, it worked out in the end. That's what matters. Uh, congrats on your 800 Robux prize. Um, you got any comments or anyone you want to thank? I mean, I don't really know who to thank. I mean, teammates obviously did pretty good today. Uh, I want to congrats Zaki on his first start, but uh, yeah, that's about it. Just happy to win at Michigan. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Terry. Yeah, congratulations on your win again. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and talk to his Rex in this call. Let's see here. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Rex. This is uh, an exciting race for you. Definitely uh, glad to see you be able to have your you know, start in D1. I don't know. How was it for you today? Um, It was actually pretty cool. I'm glad that at least I got the chance to sub or whatever. And uh, I feel like I did pretty good. Uh, the racing was extremely fun. Uh, I like the battle right there between me and Terry from caution before and all the way to now. It was like, pretty cool. Yeah, that was quite interesting. Uh, last, I would say 10 laps, you guys were side by side for the most part. Relatively clean. I, did you think that you were going to get the win at the end there? Or like kind of what? Describe what happened there in the last few laps. Um, I was coming around, you know, turn one. I messed it up. I was like, um, he might have a chance to win. He did, obviously. Um, we were coming in turn three. I thought he was going to send in a little bit, and I was riding that inside lane. thought I was going to get to his corner panel and try to do something there, but not wreck him, obviously, but, you know, try and get past him. But uh, it didn't work out. We got second, and uh, congrats to Terry, and it was fun battling. How was the team comments turns the last few, few laps? Was everyone pretty upset or saw some complaints about officiating? You got any comments on that? Um, yeah, there's some points that people weren't uh, uh, liking the officials. Um, there were some calls, you know, people, you know, getting jackknifed, some people spinning out like four or five cars and, you know, no caution. I think, get, I think the officiating get better, but, you know, it uh, it's fine to me, but yeah. Well, congratulations, Rex, again uh, on your second place finish. Appreciate you subbing me, subbing for me. I'm going to go ahead and 
interview Chris now, or P3, I believe he got. Uh, hello, yes, correct, P3. Hey, Chris. <laughs> Congratulations on your podium finish. Um, a, although it's not points race, I'm, I'm happy. It's been a while since I've been on the podium. Exactly. You can get some Robux. Uh, how'd you do in stage one and two? Um, stage one, uh, I got wrecked by Josh. Uh, stage two was the incident. Uh, three ride, more of a racing incident. Terry scraped the walk. And the wall, like, it, it, the wall is weird exiting too. It just, like, bumps you off. And fortunately for us, we got wrecked. Uh, we had a we had better uh, long run speed today in the number 21 uh, iFly car. Um, I'm definitely happy. It's still with the outcome of it. Um, obviously, congrats to Terry, hometown winner. Um, man, I'm just sad I couldn't get that 800 Robux. Well, you did prevail. I mean, towards the end, you get something. Uh, I noticed on the track some JGR, TRD, and RCR, especially stage three, a lot of aggressive moves, questionable moves, and. Um, is there still some rivalry going on there? Do you have anything be between drivers that you're trying to pay back maybe on this all-star race that have occurred? I mean, it's not really, I'm not, of course, not trying to start anything. If I'm a bad driver, I'm a bad driver. I'll admit that. There's, I mean, I obviously mess up, but there's people who aren't willing to own up to their mistakes. And that's unfortunate because that's going to get them nowhere in life. Um, it's also kind of funny too, kind of fitting that um, it's, it's the people that uh, think they're the best are that are the ones uh, not doing anything, <laughs> so or I shouldn't say not doing anything, but uh, racing bad, so a hypocritical <laughs> sky. <laughs> well, hopefully uh, you guys can figure that out. Yeah, uh, congratulations again, Chris. And I'm just gonna say it off to the drivers. I tried to figure it out, but uh, obviously something, obviously nothing happens. So yeah. I'm just gonna put out real quick uh, to the drivers. I, like usually, we we have anyone have any questions. I'll do, I'll just say that to the end. So we just move the get everyone's interviewed knocked out real quick. So yeah, sure. I got a question for uh, yeah, go Chris. Ahead. Uh, Chris, uh, you had some on track incidents today, but you had some good speed. Uh, how do you feel like everything turned out for you in the end? Was it what you hoped for, or you felt like you could have uh, had a better result? I mean, obviously, you're always aiming for the win for yeah. what's in store. Uh, oh, I got the yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, obviously, you're, you're always wanting that win. You know, you're always trying to do yeah. your best. Um, and you know, obviously, that's not gonna happen all the time. But uh, you just gotta go out there, get out your best effort. And uh, today, that's what I did. I I went out there, gave my best effort as always. And uh, I'm just happy for a top two finish. That's yeah, you know, like I say, especially finishing second to last after the yeah. worst thing I've ever done in qualifying. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, good job, Chris, and uh, good luck. Thank you. So I'm not sure exactly what the order, so I'm just going to go ahead and start calling people out. Uh, it, it, uh, um, it'd be Halo. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, Halo. U -T -C. Yeah. Uh-huh. Halo, what are your thoughts about this race? Like, how did it go for you? I think it was fun. Stage one did kind of good. Stage two had a great battle with Sky. I had no hard feelings to him, and it was a really good finish. And uh, one thing that I kind of hated about this stage or not this stage, but more of the race that kind of made me, whatever. I gotta stop talking. Backmarkers, man. These backmarker affairs getting to me, even though I'm not a backmarker. Damn bug. Has for some reason has problems with me. Kind of made the race go down for me. But otherwise, gonna... still got a P3. So are you gonna race differently at all? I mean, you did you did pretty well on the stages. Um, you got some Robux nonetheless, but are you think going on from here on out, you're going to race drivers differently at all? Um, probably KM bug. The back marker keeps talking. I'm going to let him know. All right. Well, <laughs> it'll be interesting to see you on the track. Uh, last question I got, did you guys have, or what was your strategy coming into this race in particular? Or was it just pretty much just have fun and just, I think it was more. I think it was more of a fun thing because I didn't expect to actually race. I was going to go somewhere, but my parents let me stay home. But, uh, you know, I was just trying to have fun, you know, until back marker showed up again. Oh, you got any questions? It made me sweat. Chloe, there. Nope, I'm good. Nope. Okay. Yeah, 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 I'm all there. I'm fine. I don't have any questions. All right. All right, yeah, thanks, Halo, and I'm glad you got to show up and race. Um, I'll see you uh, hopefully in the next racetrack.
Yeah, Charlotte. Yeah, I'm gonna let him know. <laughs> it's gonna be endurance race for sure. All right, I'm just gonna go. Uh, we'll, we'll go with Sharky either. My mayor. Hey, hey, Sharky. He and me specifically had some comments you wanted to make. I'm curious what, what are those comments you got for us. Yeah, I'm very pissed off at uh, Xander for screwing me over on that pit stop there. Lost me all my positions, forced me into the wall, and uh, Sky and I jackknifed, and no caution was called. And I went to talk to Dog about it, and he decided to be a jerk. So, but eh, it was a meh overall race, uh, back and forth, sometimes at the front, sometimes uh, at the back. But we'll have to look on, because next... Uh, Next week's uh, Charlotte, my home track, and I won there last year, so uh, well, hopefully it'll be a good race for me. Yeah, I noticed uh, you, when I was in the driver chat a little bit, you, you're having trouble trying to get used to the track. Um, do you think you finally get hang of it towards the end there? And... Uh, a little bit, um, but still, I was losing lots of momentum uh, going into the turns. So I'm just I'm happy that the race is over because I had no idea what was going on. So it just sucks. But yeah, hopefully Charlotte's better. Yeah, well, let's go way to look out. Uh, I know that Ian Xander had some feuds and see if yeah. Xander Zan- has to say. But I think honestly, when I'm watching it from my perspective, a lot of it had to do with lag. But I mean, you know, but um, hopefully you guys can sort that out. And... Yeah, hopefully. But some actions might be taken. So I'll have to look out for that. Okay. Yeah, I think oil. I got one question for Sharky. Uh, Sharky, you weren't in the best places for a track position today, but did you feel like track position was very important in the race? Uh, yeah, because the only way you were able really to able really to pass was to kind of send in on the bottom and that's just kind of slide up. So it was yeah. it was it was really hard to pass here. So track position was uh was very key and you know with my qualifying i forgot to cycle the pit option so it was on my fault but i didn't really care about it so it's just it. overall okay uh one more question i have for you the caution was not called there uh, what were your thoughts you feel like there should have been a caution i understand from your point of view there you you'd probably think there'd be caution but i want to hear your real take on that uh okay. the uh ro's need to be more consistent <laughs> that's, that's all i'm gonna say <laughs> okay that's that's all i got for you sharky all right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I think transition this over to Xander real quick because it's a good, good, good person to ask in the response. Uh, you got any comments in response to how your driving was today? Uh, to be honest, not exactly. Uh, not exactly sure which was and was it my fault. I definitely know the incident on pit road between me and Sarki. That was 100 percent my fault. Uh, it's just pit road. It's so claustrophobic. You got people that go to your inside that have pits, a pit stall that's further down pit road from yours, and they know that, but they consistently stay there. And then you break to try to let that person go by, and the person behind behind you is like, "Nah, we're gonna ram into you." And all those pit road issues that kind of lead up to that. So I feel like that's it's like partially by fault, but then at the same time, we gotta have everybody looking out and around. Know what's going on? Were you having any latency issues this race, or just uh, just more driving incidents that you think that occurred between different drivers? I'll be a hundred percent honest. If you took can the can in this race at the beginning, there, it's like if I took a hundred a one eighty and had zero issues all the way up until halfway in the stage three. And I wasn't having ping issues at that point. My ping was consistent. Everybody on my screen was flickering the whole time. And it wasn't on my end was what was causing it. Because I had my performance stats on trying to keep track of what's causing the issue. So I know I can try to fix it. And I couldn't do anything from that point. So whatever happened there, the drive through and that, that just got me most confused. Yeah, tough break. I understand. <laughs> that's part of the reason I'm here interviewing the uh, performance issues, but um, yeah, are you looking forward to Charlotte and anything you're going to do differently there? I'm definitely looking forward to Charlotte. I've ran well there plenty of times before. I know pretty much the fastest line around the track. I just got to 
have a similar race to how this one went for there get carry the same speed i was having over that track i feel like those tracks are very similar and different in their own ways but All i right. think we're gonna have a good look yeah look forward to seeing you there i hope you you know do better there quality or anything you want to ask for xander I don't think I've got anything for Xander. All right. I'm going to go ahead and move this on to Zachy. Um, I'm glad you got to show up for your first uh, D1 start and all-star. Um, how was it for you being here with the quote-unquote big boys? <laughs> oh, it's it's exciting. I mean, some some drive really aggressively and some drive how you expect them driving, but all in all, uh, it's been like the races I've officiated throughout the, the season, so it's pretty good. Yeah, and I saw that, so you are now officially a 21 for D2 and D3. Um, I guess I, you want to tell people about how that happened and just a little bit of a good background on that? Uh, so, so Glitch left the server, and then, uh, Dog, who is JTG, signed me, but, um, Terry, um, and Alex, they wanted the car, but Dog wasn't willing to give it to them, so, Dog just gave RCR another car, and, um, the other car is, uh, the three car or should be the three car or hopefully Terry to charter in or part time. And just to let Stream know we got D three first uh debut season race for at Daytona gonna be occurring uh, tomorrow. Uh, I know Zachy, I'm sure you're gonna be there as decided. Uh, one question I got for you is just in terms of competition. Uh, from what you remember, previous racing experience, do you notice much of a difference in uh, how D1 is versus like D3 or D4? Oh, yeah. Because when I drove in D5, uh, it's like painful experience. People com constantly like ramming into you. D1, it's like not really people ramming into you. It's more like an aggressive driving style. D5 is more like people not knowing what they're doing. But I think D3 is more like you have the people are like skilled and know what to do and then you have the people who are overly aggressive but have that back marker pace that are just overusing it well congratulations i think you got p6 so our CR was like one three and six today it overall pretty well yeah um, i'll see you tomorrow and coil do you got anything you want to ask yeah, I got one thing from Zachy. Zachy, you've been able to move up pretty quickly through the divisions from a D5 to D3. Now you're even running two. Uh, uh, what are your hopes possibly for next season? And do you even think you might be able to run some more cup races this season? Uh, cup races, uh, maybe if, like, Chris can't show up or something. Uh, but Alex and Terry are pretty consistent with showings. So, I mean, uh, it'll be good for me to get some experience, if anything. Uh, you had a good race today, but uh, do you feel like having this good it's, race and showing uh, off kind of today maybe. will definitely help you uh, show off to, like, Alex that possibly that you can run with the big boys or quote-unquote big boys up here? Uh, yeah, definitely. But then again, like, Michigan, mm -hmm. it's more uh, super speedway-ish. It's not really – I mean, there's skill involved in letting off braking. Um being able to run a certain line to get the most speed. But all in all, it's it's draft that is your friend. Got it. But, but yeah, skill is pretty involved. Definitely helps. I don't, I don't have any questions, so yeah. Thank you. Yeah. All right, let's, let's uh, move this over to let's see Canva. I want to interview you. Um, so... You and your brother, I saw you guys running up there a few a few times and um, some JGR <laughs> incidents occurred. Uh, do you got any comments you want to say on in terms of that aspect of things? I'm sorry, I did not hear a word you said. Uh, so I, I saw you and your brother were running up there 
a mm -hmm. few times we were competitive this race and there there was some moments that um for example i know i think halo and some other jgr jgr drivers were not happy with the racing do you have any comments in terms of those incidences now i don't know what halo was talking about he kept putting me and paid up in the wall and sending us but we started trying to push him back all right. Uh, is there anything in, uh, in terms of uh, quote unquote, I guess, payback that we can see in the future? Or is anything going to be done? Are you guys going to talk it out? or? I have no clue. I tried to wreck Halo at the end. All right. Uh, Coyle, do you got anything right. you want to ask? Uh, no, I don't, I don't have any questions there. <laughs> Uh, I think that's all for uh, I think everyone. I think everyone's been there. Josh, can we yeah, not talk? Yeah, I talk. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, Josh is the last one. Hey, Josh. Uh, I know you were trying to come back multiple times after getting involved with Rex, and not not the person Rex, but like literally just getting caught up in incidences. So um, I I know it wasn't your <laughs> the race how you wanted it to go, but you got any comments in terms of uh, today's race? You're talking to Josh, I can't hear you. Josh? Yeah, copy. Oh, hello. Yeah, yes, yes, what was the question again? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I pretty much just said I know it wasn't your race today, wasn't the best. Uh, you were trying to come back up a lot of different times because you were getting involved in different wrecks and um, just overall, it was just a kind of a tough day again. Um, do you have any comments in, in terms of today's performance? I think the race was actual crap. There's a lot of there's a lot of arguments going around on 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 this track. Uh, mostly, 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 my teammates didn't like the Chevys. Some some of my teammates didn't like the Chevys this race because of what they did. With, I don't know. It's just just a crazy race. I didn't I didn't really like it. Uh, I was expecting more pace out of me than I did have today. It was just it was kind of sad. Really uh, ran, yeah. Go ahead. I ran the open pretty well, so I was expecting. I was expecting more. I was. I was expecting to at least be up front, top five, like most of the race, like like my teammates were, and, and most of the Chevys were. But I guess I wasn't. I guess I was just like slow today. I guess. Well, arguably, I would say. I mean, on a positive note, you were definitely one, obviously a popular driver, so you would have gotten into the open, and you showed yourself through qualifying. You got pole, um, you did very well. Uh, actually, so what did you do to make yourself get pole? Just get a good entry and just get, make sure make sure I get a good entry in pits and everything. Come out fast and make sure I get get my cornering speed correctly in turns three and four. And uh, yeah. And going into Charlotte, are you going to do anything differently in, in terms of next race? Hopefully. Hopefully we'll see you up there in the front, get some stage ones, get some well-needed playoff points. Uh, you're still definitely eligible for playoffs. That's a good thing. And got to get you a win so you can be locked in. <laughs> yeah. It might be more later in the season, though. I don't have fully expectations for Charlotte. Anything quick you gotta coil because I don't want to start wrapping this up. Oh, I know Sky needs nope, to be I don't got any questions, so uh, All right. yeah, we can wrap it up. All right, Sky. Uh, sorry, I know stream's taking on forever, but um, how was uh, the racing for you today? Uh, fine till final stage and a little bit in pieces in stage one, but mostly relatively fine. Yeah, I noticed um, in last stage. I don't. I so I was watching more of the front and mid, and saw you and I think Josh or I don't remember exactly who was falling back there. I don't know what exactly happened. Can you talk about that? Um, we were four wide for I don't remember what position it was, but I know it was Chris, Halo, Sharky, me, and I don't know what happened, but Sharky ended up coming up the track and just got hooked into me, and his car got sideways, stuck on the front end, so I couldn't go nowhere and just had to push him and. Um, they had a two-car wreck, no caution, don't know necessarily why, or what it is, but it cost us our race in the end. 
Well, congratulations on you got a stage one, so you got some three hundred robux there, and I don't know how you did stage one, but third, third, yeah. So you got what five hundred robux total, I believe. So that's yeah. pretty good chunk change still. Not all, not all a terrible day for you. Um, I know it wasn't the end you wanted, but um, is there anything different you would have done today, or anything you think that could have been improved on? Um. Personally or overall? It could be about the track, be about you, just any anything. I, mean, I think the racing is relatively fine. Um, my only issue with the whole race was really just not necessarily RCR, but really the only only problem I ever had was um Zachy when we were going at it for the lead off a of restart, and he was trying to block me coming off the two. I got to his outside and he was still trying to block me. I kept my foot and I didn't lift, and it it turned him. I couldn't, I mean, like, he came up the track, but then afterwards, he was hitting me, Chris was putting me in the fence, and, I mean, it just, it wasn't needed, it was a racing incident, so he came up the track, I kept my foot in it, not like I turned down the track and turned him, but, that's about really all for me, over, so it was a relatively fine race for the most part. Yeah, it just kind of reminds me of, uh, Danny Hamlin and, um, the 23 car incident recently at uh, the uh, Worldwide Technology. <laughs> he wrecked my, my driver, as Chris was saying. And yeah, when I was watching, it did seem like it was more of a racing incident and wasn't, you know, on purpose. Yeah. But um, hopefully, oh, no. hopefully, uh, I mean, obviously, Zachy was trying to make a prove himself worthy to be here with us today. And I think he did pretty well doing that, even Thank though there was. You. Even though there were some incidents that occurred in this race overall, I just had a lot of cautions. But I think I'm going to wrap this up. Unless, uh, Chloe, anything else you want to add? Nope, I don't have any I'm questions. So, yeah. I'll, 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 What's up, okay. Josh? I think the race official should be better at what oh. they're doing because literally, okay. there was, cause the, last few, the, the last few laps, I think, was stage two. There was no caution. And, yeah, the race and, official need to be more consistent. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> I'm also sorry. This, this might be my yeah. first. Time. Okay, as a be. as a race official himself, I it's only two of them. So. Yeah. Okay, so well, yeah, I not... think I'm gonna step in here and do like kind of like Alex. So we gotta end the stream and uh, yeah. something that needs to be spoken off uh, later about. Anyways, thanks for showing up. If you're still watching with us, if, uh, I was a guest commentator, Bill, the driver of the four car, and we're gonna be at mm -hmm. Daytona tomorrow for trucks and their first. Uh, season mm -hmm. season start, so hope to see you guys there. Um, thanks for watching. This is RSN, and thanks mm -hmm. for Bloxer for running the media. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh my god! Crashing! Oh!